Hello everyone, and welcome to today's lecture on pulmonary edema. In this session, we will delve into the various aspects of this condition, including its pathophysiology, types, clinical presentation, diagnosis, treatment and management, as well as its association with different medical conditions. So let's begin. Pulmonary edema refers to the abnormal accumulation of fluid within the lung tissue and air spaces. It occurs when there is an imbalance between the hydrostatic and oncotic pressures in the pulmonary capillaries, leading to fluid leakage. The pathophysiology of pulmonary edema involves several mechanisms, such as increased pulmonary capillary pressure, increased capillary permeability, and decreased oncotic pressure. These disturbances can be caused by various factors, including heart failure, lung injury, kidney dysfunction, and certain medications. Pulmonary edema can be categorized into two main types, cardiogenic and non-cardiogenic. Cardiogenic pulmonary edema is primarily caused by an increase in left ventricular pressure, resulting from conditions such as congestive heart failure, myocardial infarction, or valvular heart disease. On the other hand, non-cardiogenic pulmonary edema occurs due to factors unrelated to primary cardiac dysfunction, such as acute respiratory distress syndrome, ARDS, high altitude exposure, neurogenic causes, acute kidney injury, drugs, pregnancy, or occurring in pediatric populations. The clinical presentation of pulmonary edema can vary depending on the underlying cause, but commonly includes symptoms such as dyspnea, shortness of breath, orthopnea, difficulty breathing while lying flat, paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea, sudden awakening from sleep with breathlessness, cough, wheezing, frothy sputum, and signs of respiratory distress. Diagnosis is based on a thorough clinical evaluation, chest x-ray findings, showing interstitial or alveolar infiltrates, arterial blood gas analysis, echocardiography, and certain laboratory tests to assess cardiac and renal function. The management of pulmonary edema depends on the underlying cause, severity of symptoms, and the patient's clinical stability. Initial interventions include improving oxygenation, providing respiratory support, and addressing any precipitating factors if identified. The mainstay of treatment involves diuresis, using loop diuretics, to reduce fluid overload and relieve symptoms. Additional therapies may be utilized, such as vasodilators, positive pressure ventilation, or inotropic agents in certain cases. Close monitoring of vital signs, fluid balance, and electrolytes is essential during management. Congestive heart failure is a common cause of cardiogenic pulmonary edema. It occurs when the heart's pumping capacity is compromised, leading to fluid retention and the subsequent buildup in the lungs. In this context, the treatment of pulmonary edema involves optimizing heart failure management, including medications such as diuretics, angiotensin-converting enzyme inhibitors, beta blockers, and potentially adding vasodilators or inotropic agents as needed. High-altitude pulmonary edema is a non-cardiogenic form of pulmonary edema that occurs in individuals exposed to high altitudes without proper acclimatization. It is initiated by a complex interplay of hypoxic pulmonary vasoconstriction, increased capillary pressure, and altered fluid dynamics. Prompt descent to a lower altitude, supplemental oxygen therapy, and administration of nifedipine or phosphodiesterase inhibitors are crucial for resolving HAPE. Neurogenic pulmonary edema is a type of non-cardiogenic pulmonary edema observed in patients with acute neurological insults, such as traumatic brain injury, seizures, or intracranial hemorrhage. The mechanisms contributing to this condition are multifactorial and involve sympathetic nervous system activation, increased permeability of pulmonary capillaries, and alterations in hydrostatic pressure. Management includes treating the underlying neurological cause, providing respiratory support, and optimizing hemodynamic stability. Acute kidney injury can contribute to the development of pulmonary edema through several mechanisms, such as fluid overload resulting from impaired renal water excretion and sodium regulation. Hemodialysis or continuous renal replacement therapies are often necessary to improve renal function, correct fluid imbalances, and alleviate pulmonary edema in these patients. ARDS is a severe form of non-cardiogenic pulmonary edema characterized by acute lung injury due to various causes, including sepsis, pneumonia, and trauma. The hallmark features are diffuse alveolar damage, increased pulmonary permeability, and refractory hypoxemia. Management entails treating the underlying cause, providing lung protective ventilation strategies, maintaining fluid balance, and considering adjunctive therapies such as prone positioning and extracorporeal membrane oxygenation, ECMO, in severe cases. Some medications can cause pulmonary edema as a rare but serious adverse effect. These include nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, certain chemotherapeutic agents, beta blockers, and some illicit drugs. Early recognition, discontinuation of the offending drug, 
and appropriate supportive care are crucial in the management of drug-induced pulmonary edema. Pulmonary edema can occur in pregnant women, especially in the setting of preeclampsia slash eclampsia, fluid overload, or cardiac disease. Prompt recognition and appropriate management, including optimizing blood pressure control, diuresis, and delivery planning, are essential to prevent complications for both the mother and fetus. Pulmonary edema can affect children of different age groups, often as a consequence of infections, cardiac abnormalities, or lung diseases. Prompt diagnosis, appropriate supportive care, and treatment of the underlying cause are vital in managing pediatric pulmonary edema. Close monitoring of fluid balance, oxygen saturation, and respiratory status are crucial components of their management. Thank you for watching this video on pulmonary edema. Pulmonary edema is a complex condition with different causes. Recognizing the symptoms and using proper diagnostic techniques are important for effective treatment. Personalized care is crucial in managing patients with pulmonary edema.